Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I feel like I have not been super consistent with vlogging lately, and for that, I'm sorry. Life has just been really, really busy. Hopefully, I'll be able to like catch you guys up on everything soon. Um, but yeah, it's Monday, so I'm excited to vlog again. I want to just like vlog the whole week, just like a long, classic week in my life vlog. Um, and we actually have a bunch of fun stuff going on this week. So this week is Valentine's Day. Um, we have a lot of fun stuff going on at school and I have fun stuff like going on in my personal life. As far as school, we have Valentine's Day on Wednesday. We have our 100th day of school on Thursday. Friday we have off. It's a professional development day. And then as far as like me, I'm going to a concert on Tuesday. Kyle surprised me with tickets to the Drake concert. On Tuesday, we kind of started this new tradition for Valentine's Day to gift each other concert tickets, which I think is such a fun tradition. So we will be going to the Drake concert on Tuesday, and then Wednesday's Valentine's Day, and I planned kind of like a fun little date night for Kyle and I. Um, so I'll try to just like get clips of everything this week and take you guys along with me. I took a little hiatus from my smoothies you guys probably didn't even know because i didn't even like vlog last week but i didn't make any smoothies last week because i was kind of burned out but i'm back on the kick i'm like i just needed like a little break back on my green smoothie kick this is like mango pineapple apple banana strawberry kale greek yogurt and protein powder kind of like a really random blend but so so good um yeah i'm excited for today i'm in a good mood i feel like i have a lot of energy this morning because I was able to get some sleep this weekend, catch up on some sleep. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on in and start our day. I just read, I think it's Temu. I've been calling it Timu. I know most people call it Timu. I think it's Temu. I ordered some goodies off of Temu. Um, a bunch of random stuff. And I love doing big Temu hauls because literally they have everything that you could ever want in life. And so I love placing just like giant orders for everything. If you haven't heard of Temu, it's an online marketplace. They have Everything from kitchen, home decor, pets, fashion, clothes, shoes, I'm not kidding, like you name it, they have it for super affordable prices. And so I always love stacking up. Whenever I need anything, I go on there and check it out. So let's do a giant haul. My necklace is going to bother me if I don't switch it around. Let's switch it around. Okay, first thing, I also ordered this, I don't know, like a week ago, so I kind of forgot already what I ordered so first thing is this um, little humidifier night light I have just been like feeling really dry at night just with the winter weather and I need a humidifier and I found this really cute little one and it's got a really pretty like dim light it said it's good for relaxation meditation um, it helps your breath at night if you didn't know it's really bad to have like dry mouth at night um, and it's good for just like overall sleep. So very excited about that. By the way, I'll try to have like prices on the screen and everything so you can see how affordable these are. Next up, super random, but this is something everyone should have. This is a fan blade cleaner. So it comes with these like extendable rods and then you slip on these like fluffy like dusters onto the rods and they slide over each fan blade to get the dust off of them and I don't know about you guys but my fans are always dusty and it's really 
tedious and annoying to clean them to have to like stand up on a bed or a chair and like wipe them off so since it has an extendable rod it makes it really easy to clean um and again really affordable so i was excited to get that next i found this mini steamer i lost my clothing steamer that i had before um and so I've been meaning to get a new one and I found this one and this one is pretty small, just like a little handheld steamer, but I always find that I need a steamer for little things, um, for my clothes and stuff, just to get like wrinkles out. And so this will be really nice to have at the house and easy to store. Okay, and then I couldn't resist. I got a throw blanket. They have a ton of home decor for, again, really affordable. And they had this big, fluffy neutral throw that I thought would look really pretty on our couch and I'm not kidding you guys for the price I mean it's amazing it is so fluffy and soft you would think this is like a hundred dollar throw blanket it's such good quality so I'm really excited about this I'm gonna wash it first but yeah feels so soft oh I'm really excited about these I have been wanting to do uh, overnight oats because I used to do that in college all the time I love overnight oats and Tamu had these really cute mason jars. So a lot of mason jars are like really, really big and I don't need that. And it comes with these cute spoons and it comes with two of them. So yeah, it's kind of nice just to like have a set of mini mason jars that have a lid on them and that come with a little spoon so I can start making my overnight oats to bring to work. I'm really excited about that. I also ordered myself another one of these bedhead wax sticks. As you guys know, I love my slick back buns but I really wanted to get another one because I was running out these wax sticks are seriously the best so if you want to get into doing more slick back buns I always recommend these to my friends who ask um what I use I love 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 using these wax sticks just to like help slick your hair back and I actually love using these with a spoolie to do my eyebrows in the morning too just to keep them in place all day next I got this really cute cotton swab holder so I've showed you guys the shelving that we have in our bathroom and we have a bunch of cute stuff on it. And right now I have like a little jar that holds our Q-tips, but I thought this was a really cute dispenser. So you just put the Q-tips inside and then they pour out so you can just like grab one from the bottom. And I thought it was like kind of aesthetic and cute looking too. So I'm gonna put that in the bathroom. Oh, so excited about these. I've been meaning to get these forever. These are straw covers for like your water bottle straw. So my Stanley straw is always like out and open and exposed. Probably a reason why I've been sick a hundred times in kindergarten. So I'm really excited to put a straw cover on just to cover the hole at the top so no sickness germs can get inside. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these. So cute. I saw these slippers. And I thought they were just like adorable. I don't have any house slippers because I usually, if I have a pair, I like wear them to death and I end up having to throw them out. So I threw out my last pair of house slippers, but these feel like memory foam, like a really, really good quality. They have a really hard sole on the bottom and I love the neutral checkered pattern. So, so cute. All right, you guys know I always get a ton of clothes from Temu and like a ton of my cardigans are from there. Um, I think this is the only thing, the only clothing I got from this order, but I've been really into long cardigans lately. You probably noticed if you've been watching my videos. And so I got this long, thick knit cardigan and like, I'm serious when I say the quality is so good. It's super thick knit. You would think it's like a really expensive cardigan from a different brand. So yeah, love, love, love. Cannot wait to wear that. And the last thing that I got, this is something that... I almost ordered um, from a different website and I'm so glad I waited to get it from somewhere cheaper and still such good quality. This is a headache headband. So if you're someone who struggles with headaches and I get them on days, usually like long teaching days, I'll get headaches. And so this is just like a comp compression mask. So you put it over your eyes, <laughs> kind of scary, goes around your head and it just like puts like compression and I think it's cooling too. Um, I think you can like put it in the fridge. So I've been wanting one of these cause I saw someone post about it and they said it's like a game changer and I've been craving putting these on whenever I have a headache and I actually have one right now. So I'm probably gonna put this on after this video. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm telling you Temu has anything that you can think of. So that is it. That is my big haul. 
I'm so excited for all of it. I cannot believe how inexpensive this entire haul was. You would think I spent like hundreds of dollars and it's so inexpensive. So I love Timu and they've never let me down. Everyone asks like, is the quality really that good? It's really that good. And they have everything you can think of. So if you guys do want to check out Timu, I will have the website linked down below along with the items that I purchased in case you want any of these. And the sales that they have on the website are insane. They have like a site-wide sale of savings up to 90% off. And that's real. I know those sales always seem too good to be true on other websites. Temu actually does give you 90% off of their products so you can get a lot for your money. And the best thing is that you can get free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. So shipping is what always bites you in the butt and it won't at Temu. So free shipping. So I feel like what more can you ask for? So I'll have the Temu website along with the Temu app. I highly encourage you to download. That's what I shop through. I will have also a code on the screen. So yeah, save some money and go on a fun little shopping trip this weekend. All right, I am about to go shower and Kyle is on a new rotation at the hospital. So he's not sure what time he's gonna be home. He might not be home until later. So I have some work I need to get done. I need to edit some videos. Um, but other than that, I'm just gonna have like a chill night. So I'm just going to hop in the shower. Tonight's actually hair wash day. You know when you plan a hair wash day on like a Sunday and it just doesn't work out and so you have to move it to a Monday? It's like the worst. So I gotta wash my hair tonight even though I'm so tired from work, but that's okay. I have a hair mask in it. I've been like soaking in a hair mask <laughs> at school. So I'm going to wash my hair, hang out with the dogs, get some work done tonight. Hopefully Kyle won't be home too, too late and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Tuesday my kids just went to specials and today's been kind of a normal day but we do have a fun day tomorrow and Thursday tomorrow's Valentine's Day um, I just cut out some of these cute just really easy Valentine's cards I'm gonna tape a pencil to them so that my kids can have just some cute little Valentine's on their tables whenever they get into school I also printed off some fun activities they can color this little Valentine's sheet whenever they get into school tomorrow morning. I thought it'd be cute for them to write a little letter to their mom or their dad or their grandma. It just says, dear, blank, and it says, I love you to pieces. And then for the heart, they're supposed to cut out like red and pink construction paper and glue it on to make it look like, um, like paper mache. And I've done this in the past on Valentine's Day. Have the kids write like a love letter to someone in the class. Really, you like assign them someone in the class that way they're not all writing it to their best friends or that one person everybody loves in class um so I thought maybe they could do like a compliment letter or a love letter to one person in the class so like each friend will get assigned another friend to do and they'll have to write letters to each other that's always kind of fun because the kids always get really excited whenever they get delivered their letter during the day I found just like a bunch of really cute just like valentine's coloring sheets 
And then I'm not sure if we'll get to this, but for math, I do love these like hundreds charts mystery pictures. I used to do these with my second graders. I'm not sure if they'd be a little too hard for kindergarten, but I think some of our kids could do it. It just has the numbers that it's like, like number by, or um, number by color, color by number. <laughs> I'm losing it color by number picture um, but it's good for them to practice their number sense so yeah just some fun activities for Valentine's Day good morning you guys okay it is now Wednesday I wasn't able to vlog too much yesterday um, in the middle of vlogging in my classroom I realized I had a meeting with our <clears throat> one of our reading specialists like our reading coaches um, but last night was really fun. I am exhausted today. We went to the Drake concert last night. I think I told you guys that Kyle got us tickets for that for Valentine's Day. And it was so fun. It was the Drake and J. Cole concert. I've never been to like a rap concert before. Um, but I feel like Drake is just so good. Like I was so excited to see him. Honestly, it made me feel really old because everyone there was like super young. Like looked like they were like 18 <laughs> or younger and half the songs that Drake was singing either I didn't know because they were like so new and popular or I felt like a lot of this like his old songs that he was singing only like Kyle and I's age group knew because that was like 10 years ago that those songs were popular and a lot of those 18 year olds were like eight years old and didn't know those songs so but it was really good. It was a really fun concert and J. Cole was really good too. Um, but the concert didn't start until, it was supposed to start at eight. I don't think Drake came out until like 9.30 and the concert went well until midnight. So I did not expect that. I thought like an eight o'clock concert would be out by like 10. Um, on a Tuesday, that is like very late for me whenever I work the next morning. So. I, <laughs> we didn't get home until like well after midnight, um, especially with like all the concert traffic that we hit on our way home. So yeah, I'm exhausted this morning. I like thought about calling in late, but I was like, just suck it up. You did this to yourself. <laughs> so I got up and I decided I am going to treat myself to some coffee this morning. I have just not been drinking too much coffee at all all this entire school year I feel like I've mentioned that a couple times just I don't know I haven't been a big coffee fan um, for a lot of reasons but every now and then I do like to treat myself to a yummy coffee just like a half calf um, so I'm going to go to Starbucks this morning I left the house a little bit early um, so I'm going to treat myself to some Starbucks for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and yeah, today's going to be a really, really fun day at, um, I'm at a red light. Um, today's going to be a really, really fun day at school because it's Valentine's Day. So we have a bunch of really fun Valentine's Day plans for our kiddos. It's just going to be like a really chill day. We'll pass out Valentine's and stuff at the end of the day. Um, we're not necessarily having like a Valentine's party or anything like that, um, but we're just going to make the whole day like Valentine's themed. Um, so we're still going to do like curriculum and reading and math, but it's all going to be like Valentine's themed. So, and we have a bunch of crafts that we're going to incorporate a lot of like hands-on fun stuff. So yeah, it should be a really fun day. Hey, can I get a grande half-calf iced vanilla latte with no whipped cream? A grande ice vanilla latte half calf. Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. Alright, 6 Thank you. Filming me and taking my Starbucks order brings me back to my first years of teaching. Comment down below if you've been following me since I lived in Columbia and had my first classroom because I literally got Starbucks every other day. It was pretty bad, but that's like what got me through my first year of teaching. I just... You kinda, you, if you know, you know, you need that energy to survive your first year of teaching. Um, I would love to know, like, well, I probably wouldn't want to know, but I want to know how much money I spent at Starbucks my first year of teaching. It's probably insane. But I feel like I started off every single video ordering at Starbucks, so it kind of brings me back. Um, but yeah, my go-to order is an iced vanilla latte. Just, like, classic. I do love the white mocha 
latte. But I looked up how many calories are in it because, I don't know, I think I read somewhere that it was a lot and it was literally like seven or 800 calories, like something insane. And the vanilla latte is like half that. So I don't know, I, I know it's like, it doesn't matter, it's just calories. But every time I order that, I'm like, what am I doing? Like it's literally just like a sugar filled drink. Um, Cause there's just like so much cream in it. But yeah, I love the vanilla latte. In the fall, I love the pumpkin spice latte. In the winter, I love the chestnut praline latte. And I feel like, other than that, like pretty much year round, I just get like an iced vanilla latte, typically. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pick up my drink and then we'll head to work. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I think I have a little bit left on that. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. We've had a really fun Valentine's themed day today. We started off our day with um, a Valentine's book read aloud, some Valentine's go noodles, like some singing and dancing on the carpet. And then we did centers. I thought about getting footage, but like I said in my last video, I've just been trying not to film whenever the kids are in here. Um, I should have just taken some pictures, but we had a bunch of like Valentine's themed stations all around the room. So they just did some like sensory bins. They did some Valentine's coloring pages. We had some stuff like this for them to color. Um, they put together some Valentine's, like some cute little hearts I'll show you. We just had some cute little hearts that they decorated that they're gonna take home and um, then we did a little painting station where they got to paint, like decorate their own Valentine's bags where they're gonna put their Valentine's. And so at the end of the day, we're going to pass out Valentine's um, around the room. And yeah, so it's been kind of a fun day. We're also going to do, like I said yesterday, that like compliment letter and write a letter home to mom or dad or someone in their family. And then tomorrow is the 100th day of school. So it's gonna be another fun day. They're gonna start off with a coloring sheet um this morning you saw that they started off with like a valentine's day coloring sheet tomorrow they'll start off with this we are 100 days smarter coloring sheet we're going to fill in hundreds chart tomorrow for math um they're gonna get to decorate this 100 kind of the same as the heart one where they're gonna cut out pieces of construction paper and like glue them in to look, make it look like paper mache of course the classic if I had $100 and if I were 100 years old writing prompts, I used to do these with my second graders. So we'll definitely do those tomorrow. And then another color by number. This one is coloring in obviously a big 100. So yeah, just a lot of fun stuff. I am going to dress up as a little old lady tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna go as all out as I've gone out in the past because I have my hair appointment right after school. So I'm already thinking like, how is that gonna work? Cause usually I like put gray stuff in my hair. I don't think I'm gonna do that tomorrow since I have a hair appointment right after work and I don't wanna like show up with paint in my hair or like gray stuff in my hair. Um, and I don't know, usually I put like wrinkles on my face. The wrinkles usually kind of like fade by the end of the day. So I might still do that and maybe bring like a makeup wipe to like clean my face before I go in. But either way, I'm like, I guess I'm going in to my hair appointment dressed like an old lady. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Got a ton of Valentines today. Got spoiled, got some candy, a lot of chocolates. So yeah, that's the update. And we have an IEP meeting for one of our special ed students. So I'm about to head to that with my co-teacher. And at the end of the day today, Kyle and I have our little date night, which I'm really excited for. So yeah, it's been a fun day. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy 100th day of school. 
I did not go like all out today. I have pictures of me like my first year teaching where I went all out. If I can find them, I'll put them on the screen. And we just, we didn't have the energy for that today. But did a little claw clip action. I'm wearing one of my spring dresses that kids always tell me I look like an old lady in, so it's perfect. And then I'll show you when I get inside, but I'm wearing like slippers with tall socks and a cardigan. So I definitely, I look like an old lady, just minus the face. Um, I thought about doing like makeup, like wrinkles and stuff like that, but like I said, I have a hair appointment right after school. Like I have to go there directly from school. And I'm already gonna be embarrassed walking in in my old lady outfit. I really just don't need the old lady makeup to top it off. So, um, hopefully they'll understand. I'm sure my kindergarten team is gonna go all out. We're gonna get a picture this morning. I'm sure that they are gonna look so funny. So if I can get some pictures of them, I will put them on the screen. But yeah, let's head on in and have a fun 100th day of school. I did not expect to be filming from this location today. We ended up having a snow day today. I cannot believe it. I was not expecting it at all. I know one of my girlfriends, my kindergarten teachers came in and at the end of the school day yesterday and was like, oh, like, did you see that there's snow? And I was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Like it, yesterday was literally like 60 degrees. It was so warm. And I was just like, maybe we'll get like some flurries or something didn't think anything of it was like not even checking the forecast and we got an email last night honestly really really late it was probably like 8 30 or 9 they sent us an email and I think I mentioned yesterday that we were supposed to have a professional development day today and so the kids weren't even coming to school so I kind of figured oh well if there's no kids coming to school they probably wouldn't cancel our PD day just because I feel like usually like the bad roads they're more just like worried about the hundreds of kids that are having to travel to school not just like a few teachers but I guess they do care about us after all they said today will just be like a home work day no like online PD or anything so that was such a nice surprise to get that email that our PD day was canceled and that we could just stay home and chill today sorry I don't know what is going on with the lighting it's kind of crazy um but yeah, so I'm home today with my girls, got to sleep in this morning, and it is like snowing, snowing. Let me show you. Like, I did not expect this snow. I know like the forecast said we could get like a few inches, but you guys, look at this. It is literally a winter wonderland. Um, I don't know if you can like see how high that's coming up or like how high it's piled up on our couch. This is more snow than we have gotten all winter long. I cannot believe it. it's still coming down. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's still coming down so freaking fast. So yeah, definitely a snow day today. Um, did not see this coming, cannot believe it. So yeah, kind of crazy. We had today off. I am a little worried though, because Kyle's at work and he has to drive home later. And I've heard that the roads are just like crazy. And then we have a bunch of plans this weekend. So I'm hoping that the roads clear up. I know the snow is supposed to stop at like five o'clock. So I'm hoping they'll be able to like clean the roads and stuff like that. But yeah, also got my hair cut. I showed, showed like a little snippet of me at the salon last night. Um, my appointment was right after school. Did a fresh chop, a little bit shorter than I went last time. Um, I posted a couple of vlogs ago saying I was thinking about cutting my hair shorter and I had like very mixed comments. Like some people said, love the short hair, cut it. And some people were like, oh, I think you should grow it back out. But I have just been like loving my short hair era. I've been loving it. It just feels so fresh and healthy and it feels so, 
I don't know, it just feels so me. So I think I'll keep the short hair for at least a little bit longer. I don't know, who knows? I might, this might be the last time I chop it and maybe I'll grow it out from here. I don't know, we'll just see how I feel. But it's also so much easier to take care of, so easy to wash and blow dry and style. And I feel like it just lays so much better and just feels so healthy. So yeah, loving the short hair. I just told her to cut a couple inches off and then she also added in some highlights just to like brighten up my blonde a little bit. But yeah, we are just hanging out at the house today. I'm going to end off this vlog here since I just wanted to vlog a week in my life. But I hope you guys are enjoying these week in my life vlogs. I hope you guys are doing amazing. And hopefully if you are anywhere with snow that you are home and comfy and staying safe out there. So I will see you guys very soon. I'll have a video coming up hopefully mid or late this week. So keep an eye out for that one. And yeah, love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in